What do you want to film today? This? We can vlog. Dan's going to be at lunch. Okay. Dan will say, hey, say something funny, clown. What do you want to vlog today? I'm going to try to pull something heavy for, for everybody watching right now. Just so you can wake up in the morning and think you can do it. A little bit more hustle. A little bit less sleep. No water for a month. What else? Just to test myself. No veggies. No veggies. No shits. If you don't shit for a week, you're doing it right. That's Calvin. The world is a vampire. I'm sure there's some point in his military career, we'll ask him right now, how long he went without a shit. Just because like nerves, you're not sleeping, you're eating weird shit, you're doing push-ups and jogging all day, your bowels are probably weird. I'm here with my African friend. You allowed to say that? African friend? Yeah. South she's, African? She's actually African. Straight born and raised. She's my, my Wakandan. You're allowed, to you're allowed to say that? <laughs> Okay. South Africa is part of Africa as much as we are part of uh, Central America. What's up, buddy? What's up? How are you guys? Good. Uh, we have a question for you, but first I'll introduce you to Lisa. Lisa, this is Alan. Hello. Hi. Alan, nice to meet you. This is the sundress. Uh, Mark, uh, <laughs> Mark's fall with 1080. You never saw that video? Did you see Mark? You never saw him fall with the 1050 squat? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what that was. I was like, yeah. I thought 1080 was some sort of like skateboarding game. It is. It's also a great <laughs> snowboard game. <laughs> so anyways. And then she's the one running the mono lift. In a sundress, so he blames me. Is that the like, superhero sundress or no? Oh, that's also her. Yeah, it might be. I wore, I had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Yeah. So I have yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she's the one that uh, dragged me into super training decade ago. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. You go nostalgic or what? Yeah. We've been best friends since like fifth grade. Don't want to overload the system. Don't want to get bulky. Fives. Nelly? We gotta go see Nelly this summer, bro. No it's also a good... I do. I do. I do. Lisa will come. Nelly? Yeah? The rapper. Nelly. Oh, yeah. She's coming here. See, she's down. Yeah. Not here. Not exactly. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I've touched. Man. Probably since it. Probably since the it skit. Go watch the it skit. We put so much effort into that. No one saw it. We were too busy eating butter, butterfingers and Reese's on Halloween instead of watch our beautiful masterpiece that Connor directed with me and Alan. So go watch that. That was probably the heaviest I pulled since then. That's a long time, bro. That's the lighting. The lighting? Good. How do I look? It's not the right angle. There you go. Get a job, huh? It's your job build these kinds of triceps. You want to tell my whole sob story again? No, we, <laughs> my heart is broken. You want to tell that my story? Heart, my heart is broken. Just put. Uh, but my heart will go on. Yeah, my heart will go on. Um, 
Fat Dan in the building. <laughs> it's been a while, buddy. It's been a long time since this guy's been featured on this YouTube. It's been it's been a lot, probably, probably a couple, year, probably a year or two. Uh, all we need is a, a Christopher Walken, real quick. I gotta prep my vocal cords. A bit for Get them ready. <clears throat> Connor's not interested. Connor, Connor doesn't I'm, care. Hey, thank I'm you guys so much. Have a lovely night, guys. Thank you. Well, I'm here with Silent Mike. <laughs> And the entire crew at Mas Taco. We had a few tacos here. It's pretty good, but I feel very fat. <laughs> Can't have any more, so we're gonna go eat something healthy. <laughs> That's Christopher Walk in there for you. What was your other good one? Rocky's all right, but Rocky's, Rocky's okay. Sucks. It's not Rocky that great. Sucks. You have a good yeah. You have a Family Guy in you somewhere. I can kind of do. Uh, uh, you know Joe? You know Joe, the, the guy in the wheelchair? The guy in the wheelchair. Why does he got to be the guy in the wheelchair? Why can't it be yeah, his neighbor? Yeah, that's terrible. I'm going to get crushed on the internet for that. Why can't he just be his neighbor? People are going to be like, God, it, oh God, no, I'm going to get crushed. Here was that. the longest conversation. I was watching uh, Bobby Lee and uh, H3H3. Shout out to H3H3. I'm a big fan. They were talking about how little person sounds worse than midget. And they kept going nuts. And then they were talking about different references of when you can and cannot say midget or a little person. Yeah. But I kind of agree, like little person does sound almost more degrading. That like you're you're a more, person, but you're a little person. But you're a little person. Like I don't can say midget. Like can you just call someone a midget? No, yeah, you're not supposed to. Why can't? Why do I have to be called fat? Why can't I be called like thicky boy, large, or you, you know are. the term? The term big bone has yeah. always been very yeah. frowned upon because people are like, well, your bones like they're they're not that big. They're all the same size. And I'm like, uh, I'm pretty sure my femur mm -hmm. is about ten times the size as Connor's. My dad talked a lot about the, uh, his shame growing up and ending up being in the husky section as like a as like a junior high kid and how that scarred him, scarred him for life yeah. being a husky. But husky is like kind of cute. Husky, like is, a husky dog. is cute. I like that. Yeah, I like that. What if, yeah, what if girls are like I'm really into husky guys and they mean you? Uh, I like when girls say I like big guys. Like, uh, and by that I big. feel kind of big. Yeah. You know, I feel like macho. Yeah. yeah. Less, less than like being called fat. You know. Yeah, or little. Yeah, little. Uh, give us a the neighbor Joe, not the handicap. The neighbor, Joe. not the handicap Joe. He goes, uh, well, uh, Peter, uh, we got a couple of guys over here, Peter. Uh, you're gonna take him to jail, Peter. Well, look can. <laughs> Follow me. In, insert here and flash it, Connor. Flash Where are you it, inserting? Flash it. We'll flash. Insert here. <laughs> Just flash it across the screen. <laughs> All agents, movie directors. Movie directors. Uh, uh, me and your mom had the longest conversation of how we both think they're missing the big man in yeah. movies now. You know who said that? Shout out to Chris Bell. Uh, you know, he has always said. They need more, you know, because in Hollywood, all there is is like pretty boy rules. Yeah. You know? So they need the John Goodmans. They need the yeah. Chris Farleys. They Roseanne's need back. Maybe you could come Roseanne's out as like. Roseanne's back. Maybe you could come back as like John Goodman's long son. lost son. Yeah. 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 Right here, John Goodman. It, <laughs> plug him right here, bro. I think Connor can make it happen. We can do that. So I'll never forget, I one time uh, I, I sent a headshot in for a plus sized. Um, I think it was uh, you to told me. me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was shout out to Jesse Burdick. He hooked me up with this. He, uh, he's like, yo, they need a plus size model. So I, <laughs> I, I sent him my measurements. I had to measure my chest and like my arms and everything like that. Headshot, and I took some like dumb selfie that like was just probably god awful. Ended up sending him. I got rejected. Upset. They said you weren't big enough. I don't know. I probably was just too handsome for them. <laughs> Slam some tacos. Dan's got four hours to burn before work. We're going to try to watch the UFC fight. Don't know how, where, or when. So we might adventure around. Show you guys a little bit of Sacramento. I love copy. What'd you get? It's an open house. It'd be sick. Did you get a new phone? Yeah, dude, iPhone, bro. What are, why are you still using a droid? Dude, iPhone gang. Dude, only use, losers use droids, I've heard. So why does the internet hate me? Your hairdo makes you look gay. Go back to the old mic. <laughs> uh, so, this is more old mic than ever. I had a mohawk. Now I'm showing my age. I rock a mohawk probably from 2004 to 2000. 
seven or eight while I played basketball and I, I gel it up. You see like the glue is literally like glue, like yeah. hair glue. I had the hair glue. I had some a spiked mohawk while I hooped, like up to here. Uh, and then I would rotate. Like sometimes I had the, the mohawk in the back and then sometimes it would just like, it was like, I didn't even watch Dragon Ball Z, but I had like Goku. I rocked the Goku. I should find a picture, I swear. I rocked the Goku like glued up, spiked up my whole head. Where you saw the white shit in your hair. Oh, dude, if you if your hand came down onto my hair, it would pierce it. I'd pierce your ear with my fucking glue. It was hard as shit. I rocked that 2004. So that's well before you little kids knew me. Uh, and I'm not one for the pussification of our nation or not walking on eggshells 24-7 to make sure everyone's feelings are okay. I'm a little bit anti that. I think people are too easily insulted nowadays. It's all about the context and it's all about intent. But, it is 2018, my friend. Gay is not an insult. What gender someone is attracted to is none of my business. I happen to be a heterosexual male, if that's what you're asking. I like the female sex. But I am not insulted in that. You know why? Because I'm confident enough in my heterosexuality that I can do whatever it is that you think's gay and it's not going to change a single thing in my mind. A little bit of nostalgia tonight. I've never been to this barbecue place. We just got barbecue uh, from my mom's. Uh, Connor and I are going to grub down. We were trying to watch the UFC fight and then Connor McGregor went ape shit and uh, Holloway or whatever didn't make his weight so the fight's going to be kind of whack. I'd like to watch the Rosa fight but it's not that serious. It's not worth whatever, 100 bucks. So we're just chilling, eating barbecue. But um, mom's new place is closer to where I went to high school. And since I'm homeless, just got to say it just in case we want to use the, the title again. Homeless part two. Part dicks. <laughs> These houses are dope. BTW. Uh, we're down here on the river. Kind of the burbs of Sacramento where I grew up. Uh, I spent a lot of time over here because like, two of my best friends lived in this area. Uh, I used to drive this shit every single day for, man, years and years and years and years. So, cool to be over here. I like Sacramento, man. I like Sacramento. A lot of people talk shit. I like a lot of cities people talk shit on. I like Sacramento. I like Cleveland, Ohio. I like Columbus, Ohio. I think I got good vibes, bro. And then some cities people love, like San Francisco. The place, like, I'll be there for a couple hours, but it gives me a lot of anxiety. Like, I don't, I don't love San Francisco. I like the Bay Area. I like some of the people and stuff, but I like Sacramento, man. Barbecue. Gains. They ran out of everything. Uh, damn barbecue place. The only issue with living in the burbs, which is why we're trying to move downtown, is the food. There's not like, like good food in the burbs. There's always chains. Like you'll find a secret mom and pop shop. Like this Mexican place over here is pretty good. But downtown, you get that mom and pop vibe, that hipster vibe. I need that. We had hipster coffee today. Shout out to homie who watches the videos. That made a hell of a cappuccino if I do say so myself. And shout out to your MTV hat. I liked your MTV hat, bro. But other than that, come on, man, you're wrapping it up. I'm chatting to the people. <laughs> you're rushing me. <laughs> you're rushing me. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been the vlog. I'm gonna go slam some barbecue and probably play some Call of Duty. Appreciate you. We're coming back. The deadlifts felt good. Give this thing a thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.